everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am super excited because I'll tell you why. Christmas is coming. Now it's not that I love Christmas or anything, I don't. I don't like the cold. And to be honest with you, Christmas in general is just a shit show. It's, it's, it's turned into about giving and not about the love. Christmas to me is not about the presents. It's not about what you get for Christmas. Honestly, it's about being with family and the people you love. That is the most important part. I will add that during the Christmas season, companies, cosmetic companies, do come out with some pretty amazing holiday collections. Um, this year, I wasn't like super impressed with, with holiday collections, but there was one in general that kind of caught my eye. Packaging, product, everything just caught my eye. So that is the Lise Watche collection. Let me show you. I don't have every single piece. I do have some pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some sort of look. Let, let's, let's just show you what I got. Okay, so the first product we're going to use. Okay, first of all, packaging. Hello. Oh, this is like, this warms my soul. Look at this. This is just beautiful. It brings me back to like grade seven. I don't know. But it's, it's just so fantastic. So I have the Lise Watche Stardust. This is the nine color eyeshadow palette. So we're going to be using this today to create some sort of eye look. Have not touched that yet. I also have the blush and the highlighter with the same beautiful packaging. Mm, spectacular. So this is the highlight. I've used it. It's unbelievable. It is so beautiful. It's a beautiful, sophisticated highlight. Okay, if you're like... If you're in your mid-30s, 40s, 50s, and you don't want chunky glitter all over your face, you just want to look lit from within, this is your friend. Then we move into the blush. Oh, so beautiful as well. This is called the Blush Powder Duo. It did have an overspray of a gold right here, but the first time I used it, it just all came off. It's just an overspray. But this is, this is a beautiful pink iridescent. I will show you on camera. Look. And then I also have this guy right here, which is the liquid glitter eyeshadow, which I've used because it's just fabulous. It reminds me of the Stila ones, but less chunky. So everything that's on my face already, I will list down below. I've done the foundation, the bronzer. We're going to do the blush, the highlight, the eyeshadow, and some lipstick. So, so let's get into the video. I'm going to create some sort of magical holiday look. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. If not, it's been nice. Okay, let's get into it. I've already primed my eye with Benefit Stay Don't Stray. If you know me, you know that's my jam. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this Eco Tools brush, dip into this shade right here. It's like a creamy white shade. I like how there's a mirror also in this palette. This is a nice shade. It's not too stark of a white, which is nice. Next, I'm going to grab the Nude by Nature blending brush. Going in with this shade here at the bottom, there is a little bit of an iridescence to it, but I'm going to see, I'm going to try to work it into the crease and see how I feel about it. So we're going to pick up this brown shade. I was actually worried because there's not really a matte transition shade in this palette, but this one is going on beautiful. It doesn't have like an iridescent, weird metallic look to it. It's pretty much brown. I think it does have a little bit of a reflect to it, but it's good to use in the crease. It's definitely usable. I'm picking up a Quo crease little brush, going in with the exact same shade. I'm going to run that right underneath the lash line, but I'm going to focus it more on the outer section of the eye right here rather than sweeping it all the way over. So we're just going to take that on the very outer corner. So I'm taking the same brush, dipping into this purpley metallic gray shade. I'm just going to start to work this just in the socket of my eye, not bringing it as high up as we have the other brown shade. So we're just going to go right into the crease. I'm extending it to the very bottom of the lid right here in the corner. And then also dragging a tiny bit of this shade as well, right in the corner underneath on the lower lash line. So next I'm going to go in with this brown shade. The, to me they look pretty similar. This one's a little bit lighter, the one in the corner here. So I'm going to go back in with my Nude by Nature brush. And I'm going to go over the two colors just to kind of make sure everything is super blended and seamless. This is giving me a really nice smoky vibe. I like it. Very sultry. It's a great nighttime look. So next I'm taking a concealer brush from Nude by Nature, dipping into this beautiful green shade. I'm not wetting the brush, I want to see how this performs right now. 
So I'm going to keep this on the very center of the eye. It's super pigmented. I didn't even use any Fix Plus. I do suggest probably though using a little bit of setting spray. It will make it more pigmented and it will prevent a little bit of fallout. I'm getting a tiny fallout but it's just sweeping away. It's not like it's sticking to the skin so it's, it's fine. So we're going to go in on the other eye and add this beautiful green color. I'm actually just going to dip into a bronzer that I have handy. Um, using the same little blending brush, I just want something a little bit, tiny bit more matte, just right in the socket, just to kind of create some sort of definition in the crease. Just adds a little bit more definition. I'm going to use this liquid glitter eyeshadow, which is beautiful. This is called Moonlight. They have two shades of this. I have the darker shade. I think they also make like a lighter um, white pinkish shade. So I'm taking a little detailing brush, the Ultra Fine Eyeliner Brush from Quo. I'm just placing this in the very inner corners of my eye. I'm going to take it about a quarter... I'm going to take it not quite halfway, almost there, and then I really want it to blend into the green eyeshadow. I don't want it to be a harsh line. So I'm also going to pick up with the same brush the lightest shade in this palette, which is actually, it's just so beautiful. So we're going to pick this up, and I'm going to put that in the very corner of my eye. Okay, so for my eyeliner, I'm going to try this with the look. This is the Elise Watch A Eye Shine Jungle Eyeliners. Now, this is another really cool thing uh, that they have out this Christmas. I bought this myself in store. Uh, I don't know if I can find them all, but basically in store, they have a set right now for Christmas. You get a whole bunch of these mini liners, and you know I love the Elise Watch A liners. I think it comes with like five liners this size, and then you get a full-size black, and the price is crazy. It's almost like... I think it's like the $40 mark, which is insane because one full-size eyeliner from them is over $20. So if you can find this deal in store, if you love eyeliner, I highly suggest buying this kit. They come out with one every Christmas, and if I don't buy it, I kick myself every year. So this is one of the colors that came in the set. It's called Eyeshine Jungle. So we're going to use that as a liner. This will tie in really nice with the green that we used on the upper lid. I did curl my eyelashes too prior to this video, so they've already been curled. So first I'm going to take this liner and I'm going to work it into my waterline. I also like to bring it down on the tiny little lashes here just so everything is blended and then you can go back over it with your eyeshadow brush just to make sure everything looks really seamless. And then for my upper lash line, because I'm using a false lash, I really want the band to blend in. So we're going to go in with the Lee's Watch A Blackest Black Waterproof Eyeliner. So we're going to take this, put it up into the waterline up here, and then work it onto the upper lid as well. Alright, so then I'm going to go in with a light coat of mascara. I say light just because I'm going to be adding false eyelashes. You do not have to. You can just do a nice big coat of mascara and fill them on up. But I'm going to be using the Lise Watch A Dramatic Curl Mascara, doing a light coat just to prep them for the false eyelashes. Some people like putting on false eyelashes first and then adding mascara. I'm kind of opposite. I'll do this first and then I will add mascara after if I need to, but usually I don't really have to. For my eyelashes, I'm going to take a pair of the Quo. They're in the style 804. They're kind of spiky. Um, very holiday-ish. In the pack, they don't look as fun, uh, but on the eye, they look really beautiful. Okay, so here is the look with the lashes on it. It really does kind of complete the look. I went over it with some mascara just to kind of blend in everything together. I also like taking the eyeliner going back over the band just to make sure we're not getting you know, any white or discoloration because if you're reusing lashes, sometimes you get that stuff on the band, you know? So on the bottom lashes, I'm going to go in with my Annabelle Skinny Mascara because it's my favorite. So I'm going to take my brush, my little Smashbox highlighting brush, run it through the whole pan. In the middle of this, it has a little bit more of a gold highlight and then the outside is more of a like peachy pink. So we're going to take that, 
Well, now, if you're looking for a blinding highlight, this is not it. This is more of a sophisticated, lit from within, mature highlight. It's not that glitter, you know, sparkle in your face. It's just a very beautiful, as you can see, just a really nice, it looks like your skin, but better. Just flick it all on. You can really build on this just because it's not that chunky glitter. So the more you build on it, the better glow you're going to get. But it's just really sophisticated and beautiful. So I'd like to push this on. Then I'll take some, add it to the Cupid's bow. I also sometimes like to add it down just to the bridge in my nose, but I don't like adding a lot there just because I get really oily, so what's the point? It's just going to shine anyways. So now we're getting into this beautiful blush. It's so pretty. There was a little spray of gold in the middle, but I, I used it. It's just an overlay spray. Again, this is the most sophisticated, beautiful, pinkish with the sheen. It almost has like a built-in highlight. I'm taking this little Equal Tools blush brush, giving this blush a swirl, and dusting it on the apples of my cheeks. Sometimes I like to take the blush, just like forehead, nose, chin, just to kind of give my face this all over, an overall glow, you know? Like an overall balance is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to set my face with the Wet n Wild 3-in-1 Coconut Primer Water. Okay, so for the lip, I was debating. Did I want to do red? I don't know. I just feel like it could be a little bit much with the eye. So I'm going to go in with more of like a burgundy color. So first, I'm going to go in with the Lise Watcher Lip Liner in Bourgogne. I have no idea. I've gone over this a couple times on my channel. Don't know how to say it. Called Bourgogne. Don't know. finish off my look, I'm going in with the Lise Watche. This is the high coverage lip lacquer in the shade Royal. So we're gonna okay, so here you have it. The finished holiday Lise Watche collection look and I'm loving it. Honestly, it's beautiful. First of all, packaging is like A plus, 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 plus. Who doesn't want this? This is amazing. Like, this is amazing. And the quality of this packaging is amazing as well. The eyeshadow palette, it kind of reminds me of a Stila palette. It's very, very uh, similar to the Stila ones. The pan sizes you get are incredible. You get big pan sizes. Also, the colors are very pigmented. You don't even need um, setting spray to set them. Like, they're just on its own, jewel-toned, in-your-face, beautiful, easy to blend, love 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 um this is not your typical christmas palette i find the typical ones are more gold silvers this palette you can use for christmas you can use for new year's you can create so many different looks so if you'd like to see me create another look with this palette please leave a comment down below i'll dip more into the blues and the purples um also love this this is spectacular i've been wearing this this is not the first time i put this on my eye I had to try it already. I've been wearing this constantly. I love it. It is not as chunky as the Stila ones and it doesn't flake. So this all day will last on your eye. It gives you this beautiful wet sheen. I love it. So if you're looking for a liquid shadow with a lot of pizzazz, you want to pick this up. It also comes in a lighter shade as well. I don't know about that shade, but this one is absolutely beautiful. The blush and the highlight is stunning. The highlight, if you're looking for sophistication, no glitter, you want to just look like your skin but better, you want this highlight, and the blush is beautiful. It just has this iridescent, pink, warm glow to it. So overall, I highly, highly, highly recommend this Christmas collection. You will not go wrong. It is amazing. And that will be the video. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.